today's extra. We're back on the Anglers Extra pregame show. Today, Chatham takes on Harwich in game 41 of the season at White House Field. Joe Puccio here with Chatham interim manager Todd Shelton for the manager show. Well, Todd, your team got eliminated from postseason contention yesterday. What was your thoughts after the game? Well, you know, it's kind of upsetting that you're, you, you're not going to qualify for the postseason, but, uh, you know, really we've got to come back and play again today. How did you think yesterday's game went? Well, I thought that, you know, we got off to a bad start and then um, then we fought back. The guys kind of really fought back in the middle of the ball game. We tied the ball game up on some of their mishaps, but then th things that we did well. Uh, and then, you know, in the top of the top of the ninth inning, I really felt like we got two outs and you feel like you're you're really a pitch away from uh, taking it uh, to the bottom of the ninth and having a chance to win the ball game. And then. Uh, one hit and one pitch and one hit, it kind of just changed the attitude of the the whole thing. You talked about the miscues you had early on in the game. What was what, what were those miscues? Well, we had a couple errors. We misplayed a couple uh, ground balls on the infield that that cost us some runs. And then uh, <coughs> late in the ball game, we you know uh, the, the 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 base hit that scored the the uh, go ahead run. Then we threw the ball to uh, the wrong place, and and then another run gets in the scoring position, and then they have another hit that scores the second run. So uh, those things just can't happen at this level of baseball. As a coach, how do you combat those errors? Well, you really can't. I mean, the kids were moving some kids in and out of different positions. Uh, you know, it's kind of like I tell them, they've all been playing baseball their whole life. Uh, they know where the cuts are supposed to be and where the ball is supposed to be thrown. And it's just the, the heat of the moment. A guy comes up and makes the, makes the throw to the, bad, the wrong spot. When you talk to the team after the game, how did the players look knowing that their postseason odds were over? Well, I think they were down. Um, you know, it was a long day the day before with the doubleheader, and then that was a, a you know there was a lot of stress. You played three ball games that were all close ball games, and and uh, so not only the energy that they're putting out, but there, there's a lot of emotional energy that they're burning. So you could tell in their face they were beat. Todd Shelton here on the Anglers Extra pregame show. Todd, Shane Van Dam and Alec Rich, two pitchers that made their debuts yesterday, both from D3 programs. How do you think they performed? Oh, I thought they performed well. I think they handled their situ uh, their innings well. Uh, Van Dam, he really has great stuff. I can definitely see how he's getting to go to North Carolina State, and I think he's going to be very successful there. So, uh, and Rich, he, you know, his stuff is not as you know high velocity, but it's moving, and uh, he keeps it out of the middle of the strike zone, and he did well. Todd, you're a junior college coach. What traits do you see in guys that go from the junior college level or a D3 level and excel at the highest level of college baseball? Well, it's the, it's the same thing. I mean, baseball is baseball. I mean, I've had a lot of guys that have uh, gone out of my program into Division I schools, uh, big-time Division Ones, and then on into professional baseball. Um, it's the, the difference in time that a kid develops is basically it. I mean, some guys, it takes a little bit. They're not ready right out of high school to jump into a high level of baseball, and they, they need a couple of years of junior college to, to develop their skills or just grow their bodies. And then by the time they leave junior college, they're ready to step in to, to play this caliber of baseball when you recruit for your junior college team panola junior college what traits do you look for and maybe what are some of those traits that make stand out to you in terms of guys who are future d1 players well the first trait i'm always going to look at is defense i want a guy that can play defense at my level and then um, you know offensively i want a guy that has uh, good contact um, it's not I'm not looking for power I'm not looking for this I'm just looking for guys that can play defense guys that don't swing the bat and miss uh, pitchers that uh, throw strikes uh, with multiple pitches um, and those guys you can bring in and you can develop and and as they grow and as they play more baseball then they'll grow to have power or, or pitchers will grow to have more velocity uh, and that advances them uh, to the higher levels. Todd, now that your team is not eligible for the postseason, what are you hoping to teach these players over the next four games? They just have to finish what they started. They have to finish the grind of, of uh, a long season, um, and they need to play. They're, they're representing themselves. They're representing uh, the Chatham Anglers. Uh, they need to go represent themselves first and, and do it the way they want to, people to perceive them. There's still people here watching them, so their futures are still in other people's hands. So they need to go out here and play hard for the last four or five days. All right, Todd, thanks for the time. I appreciate it.